I am Jennifer Bostock and I'm the RDS London Ethics Lead and I also chair the Public Advisory Group and I deliver some training on ethics to the advisors and also some PPI training which is patient and public involvement. It's health and social care research is about improving the lives of patients or social care users or carers or members of the public. We want to improve treatments, we want to improve services. So it would look a bit strange if the research which informed all that work wasn't considering ethics. That's why it's important. So funding bodies are looking for a number of things when it comes to ethics. They need to know what you want to do, why you want to do it, how much it's going to cost, who it's going to help, and whether you can realistically achieve all those things. If you can answer those questions and come up with the, yes, it's ethical, then you have a pretty powerful case. RDS London offers an ethics service, and we can help you shape your funding application so that you cover ethical issues, you identify them, you address them and mitigate against them. We can help direct you to information about research ethics applications and the research ethics committees and useful guidance on ethics in research. You may want to consider some of the laws that are in place which guide us as ethicists when we're consider, considering applications such as the Mental Capacity Act or GDPR. If you actually mention those, it gives some confidence to the panel. The interview is your opportunity to show that you have thought about the ethical issues and you have addressed them as far as you can. And it's all about giving you the best chance of making a successful case for funding.